Welcome back, adventurers. Today we begin episode 25. The last episode, we ended by killing Raphael in the House of Hope, and also taking the Orphic Hammer from him. And the Orphic Hammer can be used to free Orpheus, the Githyanki who is being held captive within the mysterious artifact, the prism that we've had basically since episode one, when we recruited Shadowheart into our group. And speaking of Shadowheart, we were able to basically save her from going 100% down the dark path of Shahar, as we learned that Shar has been manipulating and deceiving Shadowheart for much of Shadow's life, and actually manipulated Shadow into torturing her own parents, which she feels horrible about right now. But Shadow's parents, who are currently at our camp right now as we save them, still love their daughter very much. Actually, a beautiful ending to Shadowheart's companion quest, and I thought... I thought for sure I was going to have to kill her at some point, which would have been really, really tough to do because my character and Shadowheart have become quite close. It's been an interesting relationship of a good character, mostly good character, and a character who has been misled and deceived that is going down a path of, you know, she was a religious fanatical for Shar, and I wasn't sure if she was going to be able to come around. But anyways, in today's episode... We are going to start off with the Blade of Frontiers, Will. Haven't had him in our party in quite a while. And Will and his father, Duke Ravengard, have given us a quest called the Legend of Answer. After reading the Legend of Answer, we discover the great worm, Answer, resides in a secret lair called the Wormway. The entrance is apparently located somewhere within Worm's Rock Prison, and the notes inside it hint that opening the way involves lightning sparks and torches. So Duke Ravengard told us that there's a bronze dragon who is sleeping underneath the city, and this bronze dragon can help us defeat the Absolute, and he wants us to do that. So, I've already formed my party here. We have Will in the group and Shadow. I dismissed Jahira and Minsk. Definitely be bringing them back into the party after this mission, but we have to go back to the classic group here as we do Will's quest. So let's go ahead and head out to Worm's Rock Fortress. Take a quick rest. And then maybe after Will's quest, perhaps I'll do the guild quest that I haven't done yet. And then we still have Karlax quest, and then we have to kill Gortash, which might be part of Karlax quest. And we're getting really close, I think, to the end of the game and, you know, possibly confronting the Elder Brain. All right, let's get out of here. going to teleport us to the Devil's Fee, which is where we did the ritual to get into the House of Hope in the Nine Hells. But I think we have to go to Worm's Rock Bridge. So let's go to South Span of Worm's Crossing. Is that what I want? Let's give it a try. And also, don't forget that a few episodes ago, we did destroy the Steel Foundry, which is where Gortash... Gortash's head of operations was for the Steel Watch, which, are the, which were those automatons, robotic things that were walking around the city. So the Steel Watch is no longer working, and Gortash would not be happy with us at all. And I think he's currently inside Worm's Rock Fortress right here. So we have to be really careful approaching this place because I don't think that Gortash will be civil with us anymore as we have destroyed his steel watch which is a pretty big deal I gotta be careful I'm not even sure I'm, I'm a little bit worried about even going up to these flaming fist members right here so this is Worms Rock Fortress and I believe underneath this place is the prison and somewhere in the prison or somewhere in that area, we're going to find a way to get to this dragon. So let's go ahead and once again, I remember before we went around the right side of this. We did see a wall over there. I think I was bugged out. Maybe I can get in through that wall. I don't know if I've checked the left side yet. So let's come down here. I do have to do all of my buffs and everything. Sometimes I cut that gameplay out. But I'll let you guys watch it this time, okay? <laughs> oh, it's weird not having Minsk and Boo in my group. We gotta do Long Strider, which is a ritual spell. 
come over here and give it to Gal as well. And then Gal also has mage armor. If I can switch to him. But our pretty sweet robes right here. And I did put some gear on Will. Uh, nothing too crazy. Some of the gear doesn't really suit the class, but it is what it is. We haven't really been playing with him that much, so. And then for Shadowheart, we're going to... Hmm, what do I usually do with Shadowheart? We usually do aid. We'll do aid level... F do level five, four. Then I'm also going to use Featherfall here, which is a ritual spell. So it doesn't cost us a spell slot. We're going to jump back down here because we have to find a way into this place once again. My old fish oh yeah, I remember many, many episodes ago we came over this way. And did young Will ever catch anything? Oh, camera's going crazy. Sorry about that. <laughs> Only a few head colds and a tongue lashing from my worried father. Who are we missing? We're missing somebody right now. Yeah, where'd you go, my man? Ready and willing. Oh, he's here. Will. Oh, my character. What the heck are you doing up here, man? All right, we'll send him all the way up here. Yeah, so the first time we entered Worms Rock Fortress, we did take this staircase right here, and we got in this way. Wait, did I? Has this been changed? Oh yeah, it's up here above the vines. That is one way that we can get in here without confronting Gortash, I guess, or the flaming fist that he has under his control at this time. I have to keep going. But first, let's go down here. I don't think I've come down here yet. We did go down the other side. It's so cool to come back to these previous locations. Even though this is still technically in Act 3. Alright, what are we doing here? Are we coming down? So we gotta jump. I have been feeling a little under the weather these past couple days. Sore throat and things of that nature. Nothing serious, but bear with me. If it comes across in the recording, that's probably why. I feel okay right now. Alright, so we are at the base of Worms Rock. And we're looking for any way into Answer's Lair. Mouse hole to worms rock cells. Well, that might be one way. The entrance is apparently located somewhere within worms rock prison. And the way to open it involves lightning sparks and torches. Okay, well, I don't have Jahira in my group. I don't know if I can even make use of this right here. I'm way too big. <laughs> um. Defender of the people. I do have disguised self. We could try turning into a gnome, perhaps. Give that a try. Sometimes this does work with small holes and crevices, but sometimes you have to go even smaller than a gnome. You have to do like the reduce spell or something like that. I don't know if this is gonna work. I am way too big for a no. hole of that type. I don't think I have the enlarge reduce spell. I don't think I found a scroll either to learn it. I'm not allowed in Sorceress Sundries right now. I'm banned from that shop, unfortunately. Hmm, yeah, I'm not exactly sure if we can even do this. Let me just double check my scrolls here. Nothing. Well, there's probably another way, and I'm sure you guys will say in the comments. You always do. But I 
can't think of anything right now. I'm a large man. Uh, familiar. That's a very small hole. I don't know how much a familiar would do for us. Let's try one real fast. Let's do a. Yeah, let's do a rat. Sure, why not? This will be really cool. I haven't really made use of familiars in this run yet. Oh, it's not even letting me target it with a familiar. I think I'd have to do it with a wild shape form. Man, you're telling me a rat can't fit in there. Okay. Well, abandon quest. Let's go back up to the top, I guess. What's going on here? Oh, I'm still controlling the rat. There we go. Pick up our Murgrass and Belladonna. We'll leave that one back there. And I guess let's head back up and try to stealth. I'm not sure. We're basically going to the upper layer of Worms Rock Fortress. What are they doing? Why'd they run all the way back there? Come on, guys. So we're going to have to descend all the way down to the prisons. With haste. Cells. Which might be quite tricky. But, then again, maybe I could use Seeming and disguise my entire party. I'm not sure if, if Gortash is there, if he would be able to recognize us or sense that we're there with our tadpoles. No idea. That's part of the fun of Baldur's Gate 3, is trying stuff like this out. Trying to think of creative solutions. Everybody up. You guys know the drill. We've been here before. Am I missing a... Oh yeah, look at this place. This whole place is red right now. Did somebody not come up here? I swear to God, this... Who am I missing right now? Gal, you gotta be kidding. It's always the wizard. What are you doing back here, my man? It's not like he can't make that New jump. Horizons. Do I have to misty step? Just to climb up over a four foot rock? Come on, dude. Get your act together. Let's go. I don't know how I would do this run without Gal. He's been my savior for. Not only combat with spells such as the curriculum of strategy, but also for utility stuff too. Wizards have a spell for pretty much everything. And I haven't really run much with a Starion or anyone that can lockpick that well, so what Gal has been my lockpicker too with the knock spell. Okay, let's hit F5, and I'm gonna try seeming. Here it is right here. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, cost... Dang. Level 5 spell. We don't really have to do will. Well, let's do us three. And now we are not ourselves anymore. <laughs> That's funny. Gal It kind of looks like will. And let's test this out. Let's send in... We'll send in Gale. If anybody gets caught... I think it wants to be... I want it to be my wizard. And let's see if we are recognized here. Everybody's showing in red. I'm not sure if that means that we are. What are... Oh, God, look at this game. It's so beautiful. So incredible. This experience has been... an experience, a video game that I'll never forget, that's for sure. All right, so I think I'm going to test this out. I wish there was a guard that I could test out that's not in this main room because I bet you Gortash is in here. Oh my god. Instant combat. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. This could actually work in my favor if I play this right. I could lead all of these guards out of here and get the rest of my party down into the cells. Hmm, 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 Let's think here. I wonder if I could teleport off of this out here, back down to the rocks below. Oh, Featherfall would be perfect right now. 
Oh my god, I bet you I can misty step over to the roof over here. Okay, we're gonna try something here. First, let me grab my party. And let's, um... Can't remember who's who now. That's Will right there. So let's take Will. Let's stealth these guys. Don't waste a step. We're gonna bring them all over here. Turn off these lights real fast. And who knows, maybe this plan doesn't work at all. Kind of like in the Steel Watch Foundry, I tried stealthy my way through and it didn't get me anywhere. Let's go ahead and close that door. Alright, back into combat with Gale. And let's lead these guys out. I'm all the way over here. I should try to keep them. I wonder if I have... Do I have mirror image? Do I don't? Anything to protect my character might be nice right now. I do have mirror image. Okay. Got to try to hold these guys as long as we possibly can. Come on over, my man. Perfect. And what I'm thinking is, we can teleport Gale away. And then move the rest of my party in behind all of these guards. And then we'll get Gale in there another way. Preparo. Sounds like Harry Potter. Oh, this is perfect. All right, we'll bring him all the way over here. What is this? The ladder right here. I wonder what that brings you to. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to be at a misty step over there when we get a little bit closer, I think. We go right here. We can. That is so crazy. Alright, we're gonna hold our ground though. Wait, oh, yeah, I do have feather fall. I just keep getting Gal and Will mixed up now that I shape changed. Could just jump off too. And you know what? Since it is oh, it is gonna cost me spell slot in combat. It's a ritual spell, but only in combat. Hmm. Okay, let's hold our ground. Let these guys take another turn. One more turn and we should be good to go. Let's see. I think we're good to go right now, actually. Whole side is cleared. I want this guy to move a little bit further, maybe. Let's check it out. Oh wow, look at that. Who's looking over here? Oh, we can do this. Hold on. Might want to do this individually. Where's Fern? I swear to god, I never have my animal companion with me. Where where even is Fern right now? Why are you <laughs> Fern's in in the place where we brought Jahira. When we first came to Worms Rock bridge and then we fought down here the the doppelganger harpers all right fern you can stay over there you seem like you're having a, you're, you're on your own mission i'll let you do that you do you fern okay i love you i love her all right this is a little risky but we can do it perfect we'll move over here one at a time don't want to screw anything up where's my rat my rat's gonna screw everything up Okay, the rat's chilling down here. Apparently really scared, hiding in a crevice. Why do none of the animals want to want to go with my character? Is that telling me something? 
Look at all the dead seal watchers here. I don't know if they're dead. And then we'll grab Shadowheart. Not quite as attractive as she was before, but... Love is love, right? Halflings need love too. Out of sight, out of mind. Okay, let's continue our mission here. We're gonna loot along the way. These are the wealthy families of Baldur's Gate. Absolutely. Why, why don't they have any gold on them? You kidding no traps, me? Please. All right, I think I'm done looting them. We'll loot the Steel Watcher though. Enriched Infernal Iron. Okay. All right, and to get to the prisons, um. I don't know. Do we just go down? Is there an elevator in this place? Check it out over here. Bit of caution never hurt. And look at that. What a view. I think the ships are supposed to be moving. Especially like in this area, you're not really like in the bay. Maybe not this one, but I feel like in my game they've been bugged out and haven't seen any ships really sailing anywhere. I did see it in one of the somebody else's gameplay. All right, just check out here real fast. Why do we have the Zentrum symbol here? That's the Black Network. Man, everybody's just been killed. Portash is up to no good. That's beautiful. Alright, back in, y'all. Hey, it's Lord Janeth. So, there actually is Janeth's estate in the lower city. Holy cow. Sure, we'll take it. A bunch of Janeths here. What would... What is Gortash doing? We decided not to accept Gortash's proposition. Destroyed the Steel Watch. The Steel Watchers are now disabled, making Gortash an easier target. Everybody's dead, though. Alright, we're going down. I'm gonna send one character. And we're gonna send send Will now. Oh, picked on the rat. Let's dismiss this damn thing. Come here. I actually used to have two pet rats when I was a kid. Lovely pets. What do we got here? Brutal leap. Oh yeah, that's from the gear that I'm wearing. Okay, we have flaming fist right here. How do you get to the prison? That looks like a door, possibly. Better make my next move. Find the entrance to Answer's Lair. Okay, we'll check this out first. What if I could just close that door and then come out of stealth? I don't think getting to the prison cells would be like a trick. You know what I mean? It wouldn't be hidden. Let's come back up. I can't waste any more time. Let's get down in character. It's probably more immersive for you all. Passageway. Hmm. Hmm. How do we get to the prison? Door. Maybe it's over here. Oh, I think it is. Because if you look on the map, this whole area is blacked out. And this is also where Gortash is. Seriously? 
That's the last thing I want right now is to get into a fight with Gortash. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have to go to the other side. But do we? Because we were out here earlier, and that was where the little pipe was that takes you to the prison cells. Alright, well, let's go this way. Fortunately, I don't have... I do have... I have invisibility, okay. Okay, we can try that. Go ahead and take... Who has that? That's Will. Come here, Will. Ten turns with invisibility. We'll probably do it right here without getting into combat, right? Oh, I can... I can make Wolf invisible. Let's do that. Character has more movement speed. Target's too far. What are you doing here, man? Don't want to think about why my eye is itching. Oh, I can do two targets. Okay. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's on my warlock, so we can upcast it. I guess we can do everybody. I like that better. Let's do that. Alright, I'm not used to playing with the Warlock. Are you kidding me right now? I wonder if I'm going to be able to do it with only this many... I think you have to do it with four or five. Shadow, yeah, no, get in there. Come on. What are you doing? There we go. Eyes open. Mouth shut. One, two, three... Can I just double click again? Really? Is there no way to... I need one more target in order to cast that? There's no way to... Let me think for a second. I want to cast it on just one target. That should be possible. But it seems like it makes you do four. Okay. Okay. This is scary. Not showing the vision cones. This is real scary. What's next, I wonder? Oh, no, not the whole party. Okay, the whole party's coming. Holy crap. This is downright crazy. Well, might as well just go right across. This is too funny. Now we can go into turn-based mode. Okay. Okay. Well, I thought it was a good plan. Oh, look at that. We have a waypoint in here. I thought it was a real good plan until we opened the door. 
<laughs> now it's only one character. So what I could do actually, we could pull this off again without having to kill any flaming fists. I could. I got a freaking plan right now, y'all. I have an absolute plan. Or do I? Okay, well, you leave me no choice. That's my plan. It's called Fireball. And actually, I'm gonna fight in here so we don't aggro the other guards. Okay, let's get everybody else involved. We'll take Wolf. Come on, buddy. You got this, my friend. Nice and easy. Okay, I think we're going to be spotted right when we walk up to the door. But that's okay. Just don't want to aggro these guys in the back, so let's... Let's see what we can do here. It's a little bit further, making it... Oh, there it is, okay. Alright, and we'll leave Shadowheart back here. Oh, great. Oh, okay. These guys are in battle. Okay, well. This is going to be real tough. This is going to be real tough. Alright, gal, we might need you, my man. Let's go ahead and... I know. Hmm, I wonder if I can misty step. We'll just misty step over here. We'll flee combat with him. And then we'll come back in. We can come back in at... Yeah, the Basilisk Gate. Oh wait, why did... Why did my character come back? Wait, wait, am I... What just happened? That was not supposed to happen. can't currently travel I have everybody here I don't know why what is going on Will's right here Shadow Hearts right here I have no idea what just happened um, the only thing I did was just flee with Gale and only Gale and I was gonna bring him back around to get involved in that combat encounter it won't even let me fast travel out of here. Okay, well. Game leaves me no choice. Okay, well, in the spirit of the game... I'm gonna go right back. And we are gonna fight these flaming fists. Shadow, you can stare right there. Gal, come back here a little bit, my man. Yes. Will, you come back here. Every step counts. And uh, I think I'm just gonna... Just take a shot. Sure, why not? And here we go. Actually gonna hold my ground right there with Fern. Come on, buddy. 
Uh, sir? Chris Sarek? Are you alright? Okay. Nice. Okay, we back. Shadow Heart. Spirit Guardians. Activate. Nice. You know what? We'll do spiritual weapon too. And we'll cast it right here. Seriously, brother? Not anymore. Awesome. Okay, Cloud of Daggers might have been overkill. Fist Sarek. Something tells me Fist Sarek's not going to have a job tomorrow. Maybe I'll let Fist Sarek live. Still have another. Oh, what the heck? Hiding in the door over here. Holy crap. Okay. Not today. A little hiding spot. Says you're coming with me. See about that. Okay. All right. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Finding my way. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna use non-lethal damage on Fist Sarek. We are gonna use non-lethal damage. It's because I'm that type of guy. I'm just that type of guy. Give her a real bite first, though. Fisseric. I don't think Spirit Guardians is going to be non-lethal. Fisseric, if you just could just hurry up a little bit on your turn, that'd be a little bit better. Okay, Spirit Guardians 19. I like it. Let's back up. Oh, really? Okay. Now Fisseric wants to get involved. All right, Wolf, it's up to you, my man. Non-lethal, toggle bond. Here we go. Come on. All right, there we go. Ooh, Sarek's chest key. Okay. Why am I char Why is my character still in his camp clothes right now? What is going on?
I don't know if that infernal iron it might be worth a little bit. Okay, let's press on. So what the fuck are you going on in the game today? Thank you. Any particular reason? Figured that would happen again. But what am I supposed to do? Not open the door, you know? This is actually pretty good because Shadowheart still has her spirit guardians up. All right, Will, start us off with a... You have no spell slots. Nice, okay. Can do chromatic orb, though. We'll start off with a chromatic orb. Oh, this is an entirely separate room. Dang. Nice. Yep, so my stealth mission in the beginning was all for nothing. I could have just came right here. I just came right here and went right in. Alright, these guys should be easy. And there go Spear Guardians, of course. Eighteen damage, let's go. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Okay, we're taking off non-lethal now. Oh man. Oh, I thought she was naked at first. Crusader's mantle radiated holy power that emboldens nearby allies. I don't care. You can do that if you want, my man. Whatever makes you feel better about yourself. I support you. Damn. Three Eldritch Blasts at level 12. Scarlet Feast. If you have a plus three bonus from Scarlet Remittance, consume it to... Empower yourself in combat. Snaring strike? Nah. Missile snaring? Yeah. Nice, Fern. That's a wrap. Go ahead and take a short rest to get those warlock spell slots back. Wait, I thought, why is it on? Why is she only knocked out? Oh, I thought I turned it off. Oh, I think it costs. I don't know what I just did. She needs to die. Sorry about that. Baldur's Protectors. Lessons from the Boiler. I'll probably skip on that one. Now we do have a key to Sarek's chest, so let's see what's in there. Did I not pick up a key for Sarek's chest? Or am I, am I losing my mind right now? Sarek's chest key. Oh, screw you. Game is acting funky today. It's been pretty good in Act 3 so far. Hyena ear. No, come on. Break you too. Yeah, a teddy bear? Are you kidding me? Okay. All right, we're we're out of here. Let's go. You guys, don't got anything that I need, anyways. Three hundred gold, though. That's kind of nice, actually. Not gonna lie. Devlin's chest key. All right, fine. I'll come back and open it up. Oh, the gold on the ground. It's a good thing I came back. It's unfortunate that I had to come to that, but it did. Okay, so back to here. What if I should just run in? I don't need. 
Oh, come on. Seriously? No holding back. All right. You guys want to play like that? Let's go. Here we go. Start off with another fireball. How about that? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's only two of them. Really? I'll do it anyways. Not enough movement. Oh, it's so close. I can get these two guys. Oh, that was beautiful. I'll probably do hex before that, though, but... You know what? I don't need hex on this. Get in there, Fern. Yeah, Fern is so good now. When I aim it, right? This is the Warden of Worms Rock. Nice. I don't know if I would have been able to stealth in here anyways. No, I would have been able to. Would have used Minor Illusion with Gale. It's unfortunate that uh, I got teleported back to camp. All right, we're going after her first. Beautiful, beautiful. Do, 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 do. Gal, 20 damage, I'll take it, my man. Okay. Let's hit F5 because we made it to the waypoint. He's got sausages and half plate. Might as well check it out over here. Picked up like 10 keys, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. Flame enameled armor. Gain a plus two bonus to initiative rolls. Resistance to fire damage and a plus two bonus to saving throws. You also get fire shield warm. That's actually kind of good. I mean, right now on Shadow, I've actually put on the Helldusk armor from Raphael. Has my arm AC at 24 right now. Gal can't wear medium armor. And Will is only light armor. But we'll take it. You know what I'm saying? We will take it. 
to do. Here, I'll take all that. Why not? Damn, this is like... This is Potion Central right now. Send that back to camp. I thought I organized my inventory earlier. I have a lot of things that I gotta... Let's just send those to camp. There we go. Getting ready to go to a vendor here soon. This is crazy. Look at all this stuff. Might be the most potions I've ever, ever seen in a room. I almost skipped this room too. Really? That one's going to be locked on us now? Okay. Healing potion. Anything good up here? A little bit of camp supplies. We don't need it, though. Alright, I'm assuming this brings us to the prison. Oh, that's great. Okay. Alright. Well, at least it's just one guy. Reva Bright Moon. Respect. I get whacked with a mace. How about that, Retta? Okay, that takes care of that. Okay, well, we've been to prison before, but... Not this one, I don't believe. Worms Rock Prison Key. Oh my... <laughs> Every door you open in this damn place. There's just eight of them just staring. Okay. No problem. I'll just drop a fireball. If you guys want to play like that, I got no problem. Dang, that was good, too. We're going to hold off on Hex. Um, do we need Spirit Guardians? I don't think so. These guys are pretty much already dead right now. Let's just do a Glyph of Boarding. Kaboom. See ya. Two of them are dead. Okay, I like it. Get in there, Fern. Get in there, girl. Oh no, what did I just do? Nice. Fist Ivorous. For the ponytail. I need a lot more than just a fire elemental, my friend. Make that six. <laughs> I'm gonna use Executioner with Pommel Strike right now just so I can kill him in one one attack. Oh, wait. Yeah, there we go. You know what? I'll let him live. Oh, we're still in bad... Oh, wait. I thought the fire elemental would go away. Oh, I know. Okay, we're not going to let him live. I take it back. I take it back. Oh, God. What did I just do? Okay. Sure. Bleed for me. There we go. All right, well, we're in the prisons now. There's something showing on the map. Find the entrance to Answers, Answers Lair.
Okay, hold on. Before we run down that hallway... Are there any more guards around here? Or can I just come in here and steal everything? Come down. Do a quick check. There's a lot of food in here. Guards like their food. I don't blame them. A lot of onions. Yeah, I'll take that. Sure, why not? I really don't need that much food now, now that I have Heroes Feast. But... True life of Lord Gortash. Yeah, we'll pick that up. Sure, why not? Might as well do a quick check. Right? Oh, man. Sir? What do you want? I wonder why he's in here. Help you escape if I can. I don't need to escape. I've got food, water, privacy, and I mean to keep it that way. Oh. All right. Respect, man. Work in the system. Do do do. Oh, this is Arthur. I just noticed the name. This is the guy from the Rivington district who didn't want anybody staying in the his house. Regards you lifelessly. Because he was holding, sending teddy teddy bear explosives to people. Okay. Why did you hate those refugees so much? Hey, Mike. Find the basement. Yeah, we went into his basement and it was trapped with fireworks everywhere and found out that he was delivering contraband. Who killed you? His people. I warned you. He did. And what was your connection to the guild? None. Just hired their local thugs. Donated explosive toys to the refugees. Why? I'm just an artisan. They made me do it. And why did they want you to put explosives in the toys? To prove steel watchers. Um, the spells. Pat Basically, Gortash was creating his own terrorism within the city. To frighten the people, to make them want the Steel Watchers, to protect them. Okay, one more room. Let me know if you all enjoy like watching all this gameplay right here, because... At the start of the episode, I wanted to do the Legend of Answer quest, which we are technically on it, but we really haven't started it yet. Let me know if you guys enjoy, like, the lead-up to the quest, like me trying to get down here. Or if that's content that you guys would prefer to be cut in the future, and just, like, me start the episode here at the actual quest. And I have a style that I've been going with for this entire series, so I'm gonna keep that style for... For Baldur's Gate Let's Play, but for future Let's Plays. Okay, what's going on here? It says that we are in the area. The entrance is apparently located somewhere within Worms Rock Prison. The note inside, it hints that the opening... Opening the way involves lightning sparks and torches. Um, I do have... Do, 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 do. A Legend of Answer book somewhere around here. Let's search by type. At least I thought I did. There it is. 
Entrance in Worms Rock Prison. With a lightning shock, a true hero's spark flickers. The torch is alight. And Worms' eyes shall awake a glitter. Something about torches. Sparks and torches use lightning skills. Use lightning skills. We have two dragon head torches right here. Um, lightning skills. I don't have shocking grasp as a cantrip with anyone. I'm gonna have to prepare a witch bolt. Fair enough. Um, that didn't seem like it did anything. Let's turn them back on. Oh, there we go. Nice. Wonder if I should take a long rest, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, short rest gonna have to do. It is what it is. I don't feel like going out there and going back to camp. We already were forced back to camp when we didn't want to go. And again, we are going to be talking to a dragon. Whoa, this is super cool. Come on in, girl. Hey, let me go get some, get some bodies for Gal. You know what? Let me bring the gang back this way. And I will fast forward the video. I'm going to resurrect, animate some dead with Gale, and also take a long rest. Why not? And I have returned. But all the bodies have disappeared, so... I have no undead. Bad face. Mouse hole from Worm Rock's cells. That must be the pipe that we were at earlier or there's a pipe within one of the cells that plops you out in here not sure but we got to be careful here because we are coming up on a sleeping dragon dragon that has been sleeping for a very very long time There's a secret back here. Wormway. Wow, look at this. Is that Baldurin, the bronze dragon? 
Must have been quite an adventure. Wow. So Baldurin is the founder of Baldur's Gate. Baldurin and his scaly comrade gazing on their creation. Baldur's Gate. Baldurin sets sail and leaves the dragon guarding the city. So cool. Love the lore. Definitely learning things that I didn't know before. And the game gave us an autosave, so we must be coming up to something here. A journal of past adventures. The worm's lair, incredible. The legends were true, and we've marked our place among them. We'll prove our worth with unrusted swords and meet the dragon. The good dragon, or so we pray. Gods bless our endeavor. Statue before you bears a familiar likeness. It is Balduran, the celebrated adventurer who founded the city of Baldur's Gate. Peril floods my province. The palisades fall, the earth does tremble. The servants of shadow and blood assemble. Beyond lies the grand worm, deep in slumber, awaiting a true hero's advent. Should my domain drown in torment be you the deluge turn away be you the hero answer true are you worthy poetic nonsense there is no one and no savior hmm let's leave and let's approach with gale Statue before you bears a peril. Be, be you the poetic nonsense. There is no one. Let's do the arcana no check. Savior. Examine the statue. What magic might be at work? You sense neither life nor spirit within the statue. A powerful variant of magic mouth has been cast on it. Allowing it to speak only recorded messages. I am worthy. Open the way. Ancient Ansor, hear me. A champion is proclaimed. The test begins. Let your judgment follow. Oh, great. Um, okay. Shadows over there. Well, this is pretty cool. Guess we'll check this out first. Chamber of Courage. A 
A champion burns bright. Even when rushing waters and moaning winds threaten to extinguish the flames. Take the torch. Withstand the elements. Prove your courage. Withstand the elements. Okay. Come on over here, girl. Oh, it's only... Interesting, hold on. combat all right I'm gonna not keep doing that because I feel like I'm cheesing things oh is will in combat yeah wills in combat shadow heart should be in combat um for the water elemental wait where'd it go uh Okay. What's even going on right now? Will's not in. I don't know what's going on. gonna kill it still breathing despite everything um oh crap I'm dual wielding torches now <laughs> okay Okay, now we have two air element. Okay, everybody's in combat now. Hopefully everything is working now. Water and air. This one's still alive? No, it's not. Dang, I haven't used Hunger of Hadar yet. I haven't been playing as well. Let's just start off with Elder's Blast. Interesting. Gotta figure out, like, is something going on here? Survive the trial. Three turns remaining. That air elemental just disappeared. Maybe from force damage? Am I allowed to switch to my sword or no? I am. Okay. I feel like maybe I'm just not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. I thought that was the spiritual weapon. Yeah, let's do one at a time. With water. Oh, look, we're lit up right there.
two more rounds here to survive. Yeah, I'm doing okay right now. Beautiful. Gonna save Hex. <sighs> Silenced. This vortex. going on right now holy cow didn't expect it to turn into this raging vortex despite all this craziness going on Still looking pretty good right now. Okay, did I complete the trials? Your courage is a beacon to meek and mighty alike. May you ever withstand the raging elements. Proceed. What does proceed mean? to go somewhere now a landsport trial a bloody landsport trial and the ground shakes crystals fall and I can hear the rustling of metal against rust if this is the end let this be my record we must run okay I think I'm done here. Need to find my forward. Trial complete. Prove, prove your worth to the heart of the gates. Okay. place is so magical. It's so cool. Oh man, what are we... What are we playing right now? Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? Because that looks like a chess board to me. Is that wizard's chess? Oh, this is super cool. I haven't played chess. And so, actually, I did play chess this year, one time. But before that, it's been like 20 years. Why, this might just be the highlight of our misadventures to date. All right, can I just... I don't know if I should break these crystals? Or just jump over. Crystal skin. Resistance to all... Oh, that's nice. That's a good thing. Okay. Chamber of strategy. Perfect. See if there's one of those adventures logs around here somewhere.
All right, well, I'll go ahead and click on the statue with Gale. He's our intelligent one. Let's see what happens here. Prove your strategic wits. There is but one rule. The Dark King must fall in two moves. Are you a commander of armies? Or a shivering pawn? Fodder for cleverer minds. I'm afraid I have little experience with Lanceport, let alone the command of soldiers. Oh, wow. Pawns move one tile forward or two tiles on their original position and capture diagonally. Okay, cool. So, yeah, this is chess. He said we have two moves. Hold on, let me click on it again. The Dark King must fall in two moves. A leader succeeds. A pretender fails. Can I just attack these things? Alright, so let's see what we got here. Let's go into... <laughs> into chess mode. Okay, so... He said the Dark King must fall. So that I'm assuming... Assuming the purple ones? Yeah, so black and white. We're gonna go... I, we're playing as the white. So let's see here. That's the king. In two moves. This is our queen, okay. That's their queen. Okay, y'all are going to give me a second here. But right now, if it's my move first... Well, let me click on the queen. See what it lets me do. Okay. I get to go first. So I could take out their queen, but then I would die from black rook piece. Let's see here. I move here. That's check. But then they're going to come at me with a diagonal move. What if I move here? I also got a white knight. Could go right there. Hmm. I move the white knight right one, two, and here. Okay, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something. I don't want to sit here for 30 minutes and try to figure it out with you guys watching. So we're just gonna go for something. I just thought of something. I don't know if this is gonna work. Wait. Oh. Oh, we're not taking turns. Oh, I thought I was going to go and then they're going to go. Well, I only have one move left. Oh, I've used... I did use up two. Man, I don't know what I... Ah, damn it. I wish I could restart this right now. I thought we were playing chess. I thought I was going to go, then the, that board was going to go, and then it was going to take away. You can see that these are gone right now. Can I just kill this thing? <laughs> Maybe I could just whack it. Immune to bludgeoning damage. Lightning damage against this entity is doubled. Um... Okay, hold on, let's, let's try something here. One to 12 damage. If I cast it as a level six spell, it's gonna be double the damage.
I think I did it. Screw chess. That game's not for me. <laughs> Just give me a lightning spell. Immediately. Oh, here's the journal of past adventures. I missed that. I think I completed it. Midor and Umglir are gone. Our hubris is evident. Elementals took us by surprise. There are still three of us for now. Does that really work? I'm kind of disappointed because I was really looking forward to trying trying to figure out figure out the chest. Whatever. Okay. If not over, then through. I guess let's get out of here. Only have one way left to go. Oh, these are the shadows. Let's go into stealth mode. Paintings hung on the wall. A true champion knows justice and eliminates those who stand in its way. Restore the balance of justice. Justice. No pardon without repentance and no penalty without mercy. The right path often lies between the extremes. Oh, thank you for the wise words, Will. I'll keep them in mind. Wise indeed. Though, I can't take credit. It was my father who taught me the ways of the just. Uh, I don't know what that means, man. Let me click on it one more time. Cleanse the world of those who would stand in the way of the righteous. But do not let such cleansing prevent justice. Cleanse the world of... Okay. One more time. Cleanse the world of those who would stand in the way of the righteous. But do not let such cleansing prevent justice. All right. What the hell does that mean, statue? The judge. Shrouded painting, shrouded painting, and shrouded painting. The apple. The oh. apple. The painting depicts a red haired man stealing a shiny apple from a cart in an open air market. You know this market, the wide where Baldur's Gate citizens and visitors gather to conduct trade and wax political. I wonder if I can just kill this judge. Alright. The child. A red-haired man is portrayed with his cloak's hood lowered giving an apple to a smiling urchin. Several other children are huddled behind the one receiving the apple, hands outstretched. Oh, he's like Robin Hood? The induction. A red-haired man is depicted in hushed conversation with a dark-haired woman. She wears a cloak with an unusual symbol on it. Tally marks totaling the number nine. Okay. The theft. A red haired man is depicted in the Hall of Wonders, thieving what looks to be a priceless artifact. It's an astrolabe of entrapment. It could hold a dozen gin within it, perhaps even more. Chase. A red-haired man is depicted running through the city streets, a flaming fist officer chasing just behind. A cloaked woman, hair dark as a raven, looks on from a safe distance. Never wanted the easy path. 
the judgment. A stern judge, his pockets full of coin, orders a red-haired man to the gallows. A shiny apple rests on the ground nearby. Not really sure what we're doing here. Unexpected puzzles. Is the great worm really hidden behind tests of this kind? I'd expected feats of strength, yes, but nothing like this. Like it was designed for sport. Seriously about the whack this thing. Oh, we can talk to it. Whoa. It, I don't think it can take damage at all, actually. Crowd of dark justice. You cannot see the path ahead. Cursed. The shadow obscures it. Cursed. The noose cuts the skin below a man's scarlet beard. He looks off with stoic intent. As city folk stare at him, and an urchin weeps. It does take double horse damage. Okay. The red-haired thief tosses a hard-earned coin in the air as he slinks past flaming fist officers. None the wiser. Iron bars flank a red-haired thief, counting the wretched days spent in captivity. Away! Behold, the paintings tell the tale. My judgment is rendered. The thief earns his due. Okay. All right. So we know the tale of the thief. The apple, the child, the induction, the theft, the chase, and the judgment. The judgment. A stern judge, his pockets full of coin, orders a red-haired man to the gallows. A shiny apple rests on the ground nearby. And we're to the gallows. Cleanse the world of those who would stand in the way of the righteous. But do not let such cleansing prevent just... Let me try something here. Out of curiosity. Um, here it is. I'm gonna try the remove curse spell on the judge. Honorable judge was banished, but judgment must still be passed. Okay. Judgment must still be passed. The hanging. A red haired man is depicted hanging from a gallows as a crowd looks on. You notice a child in the crowd, a falling tear leaving a trail on his cheek. He's being hung in that painting. Okay. Freedom. A red-haired man walks the streets of Baldur's Gate, clad in a billowing cloak. You catch a glimpse of a sly smile beneath his hood. And a golden coin in his hand. So he's a getting off. walks free. Oh. Is this truly justice? But I was just about to say, Will. Why you gotta interrupt? The cell. A stern prison guard slides a warm meal into the thief's cell. 
The red-haired man has a ten day left to serve, judging by the scratchings on the wall behind him. Okay, I think I know what we gotta do. Um, we have to serve justice. I'm sorry, I'm gonna listen to this guy one more time. I have a bad memory. The dishonorable judge was banished. Oh, what did he say the first time? Okay, so we have to... Pick these, we can pick them up. So out of these punishments right here, clearly... The hanging seems like it's too much. Freedom is too little. And the cell, with him escape or being let free in 10 days, seems like it's justice. Correct justice. So... Um... I don't know if we... wonder if we can just... This, these ones don't move. Oh, maybe we can just put it right here. Let me grab my character. One day I'll catch a break. Just try that, why not? Okay. <laughs> what the heck? I didn't even know I could do that. I'm using the mouse wheel right now. That's how little I've done camp customization. Oh, wait. <laughs> Oh my god, are you serious? Knew it had something to do with that. You know what, I'm not gonna edit anything out. You guys can enjoy my struggle. I think this is gonna do it. Those of you guys that know the answer are probably screaming right now. Let's go! That was awesome. Okay. I really like to solve puzzles on my own. And I like to, even if they're extremely hard or whatever. I love the sense of accomplishment, even if it takes a little while and you do stupid things. I felt pretty good. And I'm going to leave it unedited. Despite everything. Okay, I think we can go into... Can I? Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's hit F5. Oh, wait. Prove your worth. The heart of the gate. Did I miss something here? That one's done. Oh. Almost missed it. Please don't give me another trial. I'm trialed out right now. Okay, Chamber of Insight. Here we go. A good leader has the insight to find good counsel. As a war reaches its end, there is one who doesn't advise for the city's prosperity. Find him and strike him down. Sweltel, Amips, and Stead. Uh, I didn't say anything about them. 
Um. Strike down the advisor who would lead the city to. What is this? Come here, buddy. Hold still, will you? <laughs> Stead's virtues of unions. One of these guys' name was Stead, right? Yep. Well, let me talk to it. Hold still, will you? Well, we don't want to burn it. Right? Let me try with a different character. Slippery little blighter. Oh, firm, what are you doing, girl? Are right, you can just stay back there? Don't waste the step. Doesn't seem like it has anything to do with what we're doing right now. Old Baldur's mouth letters. These are faction. Harpers is a secret society. Shadow Druids. We killed them back in Act 1. The Order of Clurn and Dark Justiciers. So, hold on. Is there any more flying books around here? Oh, we got something right here. Hold on. Wait, was one of those characters' names Alio? Nope. And that's a different flying book right there called Swelto's Ethic of War. No one stopped me yet. And there's another book too. Baldurin claimed a guardian and a friend. Answer. Bright were answer scales and brighter still his breath. Yet after a betrayal too piercing to recount here in worthy detail. Answer fled beneath the stone. Thereby changing the name of the region he now slumbers under to match his draconic lineage. Can't even talk to these characters. We just have to. I think we just have to swing at one of them. Well, we have a 33.33 repeated chance of, of success here by just taking one of them out. Odds aren't too bad. I think the uh, we have to do something with these books. I mean, the books have the names of the characters. Don't know Two how. Steps at a time. Hold on, let's come back up to one. Slippery little blighter. It has two HP. So what would happen if I? Oh man, I'm about to. I'm about to try to. I'm about to whack one of them. Just to see what happens. Maybe we'd like. Maybe we should try whacking it with non-lethal attacks. Well, you only live once. Swelto's ethic of ethics of war. Slippery little blighter. Really? Game, you're gonna do that to me? Come here, Buck. Try it again. Why did that book bleed? Okay, well that's not the solution. <laughs> What kind of spells do we have here? Hold on, we gotta get creative here. Let's see. Silence? Let me try silence real fast. Maybe they're magical. Let's go into turn based mode. Okay, now let's walk up and see if we can. No, come back in here!
Nope, it's not even giving me the option to talk. Okay, hold on. Let's get rid of the silence bubble. I feel like I want to try hold person or hold monster, but here, let's give it a try. Hold on. Um, don't I have it with Gal too or Will too? I think I do. If this destroys it, then we only have one more one more option. Then we just have to go with RNG. Okay. Something happened. Did not expect that to work. The Virtues of Unions by Elwyn Stead. It is quite obvious that larger kingdoms offer benefits to all peoples within. This one's Elwyn. As a kingdom grows, so does, it f so does its fields, its populace, and its economy. A few charred corpses is a worthy sacrifice if a dragon offers to share its hoard after all. So too, should you seek union, however imperfect, should a powerful kingdom march its army on your borders. Some friction is inevitable, of course. Citizens' rights might erode, for instance. But such lesser issues will be sanded down by the march of time. Such is the price of peace. All right, let's see if we can get the other book. I think we're out of luck with the, the one character, Swelto, whatever his name is. Two steps at a time. And this one is Amips. My life has been a long succession of pleasures. To see my town take to my ideas and cease legal discrimination of local orcs. To see my fights against horrid living conditions and city factories take off. To have the chance to see a new generation take these ideas of a better, kinder, fairer, intelligent world and run with it. The new reaches of the continent. It was not a life without struggle, however, and I shall regret its failures. My old friend Swelto comes to mind, who adopted such cruel ideologies later in life. I will forever console myself in the idea that such a brilliant mind would only conceive such theories under strain of exile and the promise of reinstatement as she ultimately was. Well, we destroyed this... the Swelto book. But this one seems to be quite revealing. If telling the truth. So, let's go take a swing. Oh man. We did it! An insightful decision. The Tree of Peace bore lasting fruit. Proceed. Okay. Good thing I didn't destroy that book by accident. Wait, is there any chest in here or anything? I don't think there is. It's such a cool area of the game. Let's be on my way. These puzzles are... I, I like these puzzles much more than the ones in Divinity Original Sin 2. Some of the ones in DOS 2, like even after I figured out the right answer, it still just didn't make sense to me. Oh my god, the door opens. Okay, well... Here we go. The Legend of Answer. Go ahead and lead the way with Will. Oh, we should do a short rest. Oh, End up fighting this dragon. With courage does the hero march. 
Fettered by the taxing chains of fear, a stalwart soul must ever persevere. With insight does the hero choose. Guidance born of ancient wisdom proven. Peace, not strife, the undenied conclusion. With justice does the hero rule. Lead not the guiltless lamb to bloody slaughter, nor cleanse the lion's sins in sacred water. I'm not following this. With strategy does the hero scheme. A cunning mind, a hundred steps ahead, your allies close, your rivals stunned in dread. Worthy you are found. Go forth, hero. Seize your fate and rise, great worm, heart of the gate. Oh my God. Heading out. Dragon's Sanctum. Holy cow. Reminds me of DOS too a little bit actually. Level 17 undead dragon. All that's left of the great one's bone and ash. Gotta be something more to this though, right? Oh, what I just do? I just auto looted him. And not yours, but the worms. I am Ansor, heart of the gate, butchered in flesh, risen in spirit. Search your mind for what possesses it. Ansor wends his way through your mind like an unstoppable river. Your body is unmoving, yet thought flows effortlessly between you. The spirit pauses, and you feel the astral prism stir. Ansor senses the Emperor's presence within it. Answer me, Facey. Why have you come? I mean you no harm. Just let me go. A deep sigh resonates within you. The torrent stills, only disturbed by the dragon's next words. Brack, my words aren't meant for you. They're meant for him. The Emperor stirs in the astral prison, then in you. Calm, curious, and detached. Your presence has stirred me, as it ever did. I am awakened. Answer. It's been too long. Someone please explain to me what's going on? We knew each other once, long ago. We crossed the Kalim together, and sailed the Altengri. We built a city by the sea. Ansa was my friend. What? Friend. Yes. And more. Until you killed me. Have you come to dance on my bones, Borderan? You serious? Was slaying me not satisfaction enough? Satisfaction? No. You left me no choice. You had every choice. You were becoming illithid. I offered you merciful death. You chose to fight. And now you bring your thrall before me. How far has the great Balderan fallen? I never would have predicted that in a million years. 
never. The Emperor is Baldurin, the founder of Baldur's Gate. The dragon seems a little bit more sensible right now. Answer the question, Mind Flayer. You owe it to both of us. Stillness. Ansur's consciousness hovers just above yours, searching, seeing. Dear Ansur. Enough! I gave you everything, Baldoran, and you repaid me in slaughter. It is time I return the favor. Let my bones rise and the storms gather. Witness, Baldoran. The final tempest has come. I am the heart of the gate. I am the one who roars. This time, you will not escape it. Whoa. Oh man. Okay. What'd you get us into now, Emperor? Oh, I didn't expect to be fighting this thing, but okay. Um That's an opportunity attack. That's not good. I'm going to probably dimension door away. Me and Gale, probably, if possible. Where do we want to go? Probably up here. And then we'll spread out. Actually, we do have this. Fiendish Resilience. Choose a damage type. Um, Let's see what he does first before I choose that. Oh, really? Really? I'm not close enough to cast Hex? Come on. Okay, with Shadow, we're going to start off with Mirror Image, as tempting as it is to use Spirit Guardians right away. And then I'm going to try to... Can I not get around to this character's backside? As far as I can go, I think. I guess we'll do Spirit Weapon. of Icicle. Um, how much HP do I have as will? 102. I think we'll let it go. Warlock spell slots are so limited. Fern! Okay, nice. She's not too far away. Try to keep everybody spread out. Alright, so let's start off with... I don't see any other way to start this fight than with the Curriculum of Strategy. Nice. And let's do Mage Hand. More summons, the better. HP. Uh oh. Okay. This might be tough. Wow. Great. I forgot the water elementals can just teleport wherever they want to go. Smack them. All right, Wolf. Take out a dragon, my friend. You got this. No! What is that? I got a missed. All 
Oh, you know, Spirit Guardians is the one to do right now because this thing's probably going to just keep breaking my concentration. Wait. Did I not read that right? Okay, hold on. It's not poison resistance, lightning resistance, necrotic resistance. This took zero damage. All right, Will, give me lightning resistance. That's an awesome feature. Okay, get your butt up here, and then let's go ahead and... We're going to go all out here. So we don't want to do necrotic. It might not be a bad idea just to Eldritch Blast right now. I mean, Fireball could be good, too. Start off with some serious damage. Sure, let's do it. 18, I don't know if I'd call that serious, but okay, fair enough. All right, and then we're going to bonus action, hex. And also, should have done hex first, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and drink a potion. I think we gotta conjure some elementals too. Keep going after Will. Got you, buddy. Got you, buddy. Honestly, it might be worth it doing mirror image and then conjure elemental. Gonna do it try to get as far away from Will as I can. Right there is fine. Wow. Actually, I might have to see if I have some potions. I know I have... I think I have some lightning-resistant potions. Nice, that was clutch right there. Cool fight. Ah, I don't know what just happened. There it goes. See, we have necrotic res oh look at that done deal with haste the done deal all right let's go ahead and shoot do, 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 do. poison lightning and necrotic poison lightning and necrotic so let's do a fire arrow Okay, that didn't work. Try another one. It didn't work. Circle of Death. Sculpt the massive sphere of energy around a creature. Devastate the target and all surrounding creatures. So that would be friendly, friendly fire too. Um, so I can't use that right now. Hmm, interesting. Tough situation here. Too heavy to shove. Alright, I guess we're doing a melee attack. Oh, actually, let me try this. Nope, it's an opportunity attack. God, I prepared some nice spells. Nice, 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 nice.
I must have shield as a... Why? Oh, I'm on Shadow Heart right now. I must have shield from equipment. 19 to hit. They rolled 22. We'll let him hit him. Awesome. if it's worth helping out over here versus hitting the dragon right now for the conjure elemental now nah, let's go after the dragon will should be fine i can also haste oh yeah let's do this that'll be nice nice combination Hit F5, because I'm not doing too bad right now. Hate to have to redo it all. Stay away from Gal, please. Oh man, knocked him over. We're good though. We are golden. Oh no, opportunity attack on the mage hand. 36 damage on the mage hand. Everybody else got crystal skin from that. That's kind of nice. So we have resistant to lightning damage. Oh yeah, I can just break these crystals too. Interesting. So you can have a, a strategy to where you stand near the crystals so when the dragon attacks, you get the lightning resistance. Alright, we're going right in, my man. We are going right in. Still have Hunter's Mark active, but do not. That's right, I Immune to electrocuted. Beautiful. Oh no, stop! There we go. Pretty good damage. Alright, Will. You're in a bit of a pickle, aren't you? Disadvantage. Honestly, you know what I might do here? I'm gonna do it. Opportunity attack. Ah! And I'm doing circle of death. Oh, nice. That's gonna get the dragon too. It's just gonna get fern a little bit. I mean, that's necrotic damage, so not as much, but it worked really good against the water elementals. All right, the problem with Shadowheart going in there is it might cause her due to a concentration saving throw. Let's see if we have more lightning. Go to potions. Product resistance. Arcane cultivation. Hmm, I don't have any more lightning resistance potions. I have Conjure Elemental. Let's do Guiding Bolt. 45% chance, that's not good enough. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Let's see if it works, why not? Area must be lightly or heavily obscured. Okay, so I can't use Shadow Step.
I'm trying to figure out why my spirit guardians are doing zero damage to this guy. What's Hunter's Mark and Threatened? That's necrotic, Lightning, and Poison. There's nothing about Radiant in there. Has advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. Spells that alter someone's form. Let's go all out with a magic missile. I think that's probably the play here. Back up a little bit. Maybe get closer to the inside. I don't want to get knocked off. Will has just been the aggro machine for the ads. That doesn't look good. Oh no! <laughs> Seriously? Okay, I don't know about Shadow. out of there. This will be interesting to see if these ice crystals actually protect me. Get in there, spirit weapon. Whoa, what the heck? Apparently that didn't work for Gale. And to drink a potion of speed. That's not good. I meant to do, dang it, I actually meant to do my level 6 heal. I still can. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, it's a melee spell. I have another potion of speed. I save some of this for Vortash, though. You know what I'm saying? Alright, Gal, I know you're messed up, man. Just come back this way. If he pounces on you, just take it like a champ. Oh, he's going after Gal. Here he goes. Oh, man. Oh, nice. There was no damage, though. 
Uh oh, now we got these things to worry about, seriously? I don't have haste anymore. Wish you could swing at its wing. Yeah, I should have, uh... Probably should have just stayed over there. Uh oh. Wait, what was doing that? Wonder if I can disable that. Wonder what happens if I electrify those dragon head torches again. No, we don't have time to find out. We got 52 HP left. No, I meant to move up. What are you doing, Shadow? Crap. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wow, Gal and Will are like one shot right now. But I think I'm okay with it. Product resistance is halved. Still could be a lot of damage. We'll go with another magic missile. Okay, the dragon is essentially one shot right now. That's an opportunity attack, so I'm not gonna move. Gal is really getting picked on by this guy, isn't he? Okay, I think it's game over. See ya. Kind of feel bad though. I'm sore. I never thought I'd see him again. Oh, I had F10. <laughs> so it's true. You're Baldurin. I was. Now I am much, much more. But it seems. You are more interested in my past. I just need to know if you're going to kill me like you killed your last friend. I killed Ansu out of necessity. For the crime of being a Lithid, he would have killed me first. Okay. It's like I always told you. I was just like you. An adventurer who yearned for greatness. And in mortal terms, I achieved it. As captain of the Wandering Eye, I acquired enough gold to fell Baldur's Gate. I stayed for a while to watch my city grow. But it was not enough. I grew restless again. The sea called to me. And I ran to her with open arms. Life at sea was not easy. Our last adventure was ruinous. My ship was destroyed. My crew lost. But my spirit was far from broken. I was determined to return in triumph once again. I heard of treasure in Moonrise. I strove to find it. What I found was an illithid colony, where I acquired a tadpole much like yours, and became a mind flayer and thrown to the elder brain. It was Ansor who found me. Ansor who pulled me from the brain's domination. Ansor who brought me home. He sought to cure me of my sickness, called on every healer he could find, nearly broke his spirit in the attempt. 
but he failed to understand. I wanted no healing. I was not sick. Pretty crazy. Answer, Stelmane. Do your allies always die? Stelmane's death was not my fault. Ansar's death was born of necessity. And make no mistake, I greed them both. Ansar, in particular. Even after he had exhausted all possibility of reversing my condition, he still clung to hope. I tried to convince him of my reality. I was on the cusp of greatness beyond my wildest dreams. But all he could see was a mind flayer. He came to me as I slept. A mercy killing in his mind. I saw the tears. I felt his grief. I had no choice but to kill him first. It was an act of self-preservation. Game plays with your mind. Is being in a lithid really worth the loss of a friend? Put simply, yes. And being alive even more so. Do not think that I am ignorant of what I have lost. I may not regret my actions, but I do regret that they were necessary. While the past is beyond my influence, the present is not. It is time we move on. One nether stone remains. We must find it before the brain breaks free. Someone who knows the lore somewhat well. This uh this blows my mind right now. Let me get Gal up and then we'll talk to Will. Sorry, buddy. I failed. The heart of the gate is dead. We need to see my father. He should know what happened with Ansel. Okay, let's loot the dragon. Baldurin's Giant Slayer. Holy crap. 16 to 31 damage. I'm still getting higher damage. Time to pack it in for the day, I think. On a hit, double the damage from your strength modifier. This weapon grants you advantage on attack rolls against large, huge, or gargantuan creatures. And we have giant form. Grow to a fearsome size. Your weapons deal an additional 1d6 damage and you gain 27 temporary hit points. This is crazy. Put that on first and then we'll go talk to Duke Ravenguard. Already getting rid of Saravok's sword? Oh yeah, that's fitting. My character keeps putting on his camp clothes. I don't know why that keeps happening. Wow, look at this thing. That looks crazy. Yep, I'm excited to have that. I can tell you that much. All right. Make sure there's no chests here or anything. It doesn't look like it. I think we're good to go back to camp. Let's see what Mr. Ravenguard has to say. Oh crap, we're at this camp now. Because we're at Worms Rock. Hey Minsk, what's up buddy? Question is, oh, there's the Duke. Duke's chilling with Mizora. Nice. They're a happy family here. The Absolute's voice is gone, but I still hear its echoes. Reflections of reflections. Right, tell him about your battle with Anser. A terrible fate for Anser, my son. 
Yet my hopes for the city's future have never been higher. I failed, father. The worm is fallen. A terrible fate for Anso, my son. Yet my hopes for the city's future have never been higher. I don't understand. You and your allies slayed the undead terror that was once the great answer. You are stronger than even the great worm. Hell yeah. You will be the one to part the storms and lead the people through. You, Lord Answer, are the savior we need. First, you will fell the Absolute. Then we will rebuild Baldur's Gate. We will take back our city together. I will name you Baldur's Gate's newest Grand Duke of the Council. You will be hailed Heart of the Gate. Grand Duke, I look the part of a fiend. I will tell the citizens and the patriarchs of your good works. They will know you carry your father's banner. Uncertainty fills the air. Will has reached a fork in his path. In which direction will he travel? I trust you, Will. Follow your heart wherever it leads. Will? I fought to right the wrongs of the coast. To slay the men and monsters that hunt the helpless. It is in the wilds that I find my courage. Not in the halls of upper city estates. There will be no Grand Duke Will Ravengard, and there will be no Blade of Frontiers. I am now the Blade of Avernus. For as long as demons and devils imperil the Sword Coast, they will be my prey. Then go with my blessing. Be Faerun's great defender. Courage, insight, strategy, justice. Let these be the lights that guide you, my son. Hail! The Blade of Avernus. The Blade of Avernus. A calm settles over you. The Elder Brain is a menace, but with the Blade of Avernus at your side, you know you can triumph. I mean, I'm substituting Will out, so... <laughs> it was a great story, but Will Astarion... Actually, I really I, I really enjoyed Karlak a lot. And the <laughs> Cal is just standing here in his underwear. I enjoyed Karlak a lot in the beginning, but then I just found that Shadowheart and Gale and Minsk and Jahira were the ones that I really wanted to run with this run. But that's really interesting. Uh, imagine if we didn't save the Duke. Or imagine if we didn't save Will from Azora's Pat. Like, where would we be in the story right now? It's crazy to think about. The Blade of Avernus. A new name for a changed man. The four pillars finally rise within me. Courage. Insight, strategy, justice. I'm not to abide them, but to become them. Ah, but enough reflection for today. I'm of a mind to celebrate. A hearty meal would do the trick. A few hunks of fresh venison, a round of brown ale. What do you say? No, well, it's not get ahead of ourselves, Will. We've got an elder brain to deal with, remember? Of course, but we need nourishment, don't we? And we can't go beating up brains on empty stomachs. You hunt the meat, I'll scrounge up the ale. Prepare your belly for a roast a la blade. <laughs> Let's hope okay. Gale doesn't take offense if I assume cooking duties. Just the once. <laughs> what are your plans as the blade once the brain is defeated? I scout both the hells and the coast's havens. And I destroy every fiend that dares put its eye on Faerun. Ah, oh, we had a perception check. Okay, let's talk, talk to Ravenguard one more time. The devil's stench lingers, but Will is yet a champion of the people. I had hoped he'd join me on the council, but he is his own man. I couldn't be prouder. Baldurin is still with us. He is the mind flayer that protects our minds from the absolute. Gods, can it be? The man who raised the city's walls became an Alithid. You both know you owe your lives to me. I am not fallen. I am risen. We must make this a secret we carry beyond the grave. 
No name is more sacred to the city than Baldurand. Not even mine. When people think his name or see his likeness, they must imagine a hero. Not a horror. How misguided you are. Okay, let's make our rounds at camp. I'm sure everybody has something to say on that. Probably. And then that might be a good stopping point for this episode. A noble chant, is it not? Hail Will, Blade of Avernus! <laughs> well, yes, Boo, the horseless chariots of Avernus are impressive too. But that would be no kind of name, would it? Okay. I'm surprised the characters didn't say anything when Lazel died. The Blade of Avernus. I can't think of a better man than Will to take up the title. It's about time someone stood up to the evil fox populating the hells. You know what's cool is Will was on a mission to kill Karlak at the start of this game. So what do you think of your hero Jahira's house? I don't know what I was expecting. Something beyond real. My life would have been so different if I ended up working for her instead of Gortash. Looking after these kids. Making a difference. Maybe in the next life. Not sure why the audio gets so quiet for some of those parts. The Blade of Avernus. I suppose hell is just another frontier. I found a strange scroll in your sanctuary, something about a timeless body. The threat of spanking never kept the children from poking through my things. Why should it deter you? Huh. It is a ritual, or it describes one at least. Practiced by druids of certain esoteric circles. If they be learned and powerful enough, the practitioner of this ritual might slow their aging, extend their life well beyond its natural reach. In greener days, I might have been strong enough to do it. I might be yet, with the right preparations. So you plan to do it? I make no plans. Only contingencies. Do not look at me like that. I have been content to see the span of my natural years. A privilege far too few in this world can claim. I do not speak of clinging to life for its own sake, I just... ...look back on that life's work and I wonder... ...is it done? The dead tree plague the world still. The city still falls prey to... ...small minds like Gortash or... ...lost souls like Orin. It is every harper's hope to be a light that drives out darkness. But I've lived long enough to see so many of those lights... ...burn out. The shadows cling stubbornly on. <sighs> Knowing that, isn't it our duty to burn on if we can? To fight for as long as we are able? Would you live on at any cost? In truth, I had put this ritual from my mind. Until last light. Trapped in that darkness, I turned to my research again. But if I was a little stronger, as fast as I once had been, then you came and made the question moot. But I kept this, just in case I told myself a final resort. Perhaps you were not the savior you seemed. <laughs> I had learned better than to think of life as some... Simple tale after all. There is no guarantee of happy endings or true heroes. I believe that still. But when I look on all that we have achieved since, I wonder perhaps it is not heroes we need. Only people who are willing to try. I do not know what manner of story that makes. But I do know that without an ending, it would be no story at all. 
So I will accept mine. When and however it comes. As for this city story... Well... Well... That is entirely your problem now, Cub. Well, you're not off the hook that easily, Jihiro. I want you around for a long time yet. I have no plans to lie down and die. Well, perhaps a little lying down when all of this is done. But I do not plan on going anywhere just yet. And besides, you still have a tadpole in your skull. You are almost certainly going to die first. <laughs> And why didn't you tell me about your family? Hmm. I have given you much reason to think that Harpers hoard secrets like precious stones. But I promise you, this was not some intrigue. Just, uh, plain and simple foolishness. As if by keeping clear of my family, I might keep them clear of the cult in turn. And if this fight were to go against us, well, we had already done their mourning. I visited on them twice. I understand. I think I would have done the same. Well, if fool I be, then at least I'm in good company. I was wrong to think I could keep my children from this fight. They're Baldorian born and bred. The only damned reason I root myself in this place. This city is a cesspit. An open sewer of the soul that taints us with its filth and churns us out when all that is good has been stripped away. It also happens to be their home. And so it is mine. Ugh. That might be the first time I have said that out loud. Now come. We had best get to saving it. Lest Ryan turn her ire on us both. Jahira has stealing her, I'll say that. It's not easy to walk away from immortality. Most people will have held on to that scroll for as long as they could bear to. And probably a century or two longer than that. Okay. So Jahira is willing to embrace mortality. The ultimate form of retirement, and that's thanks to impressing her through your actions. Quite the compliment. Seems like that dialogue with Jahira has taken over the camp now, and there's no longer a response for Will. Whatever happens next, be sure. That I will document it all as accurately as possible. Hmm. A hero of legend. Passing the figurative torch onto us. But best not disappoint her. The thought of a scolding from Jahira's ghost is not one I particularly relish. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just see if Withers by chance has anything to say. Fate does nope. now require a new ally. Okay, well, this is going to be a good stopping point. So, thank you all. Look at Scratch and Owlbear Cub over here. Good stopping point for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. This was a fun one today. A puzzle-filled one, with also some pretty hectic combat. I'll catch you on the next one.